Come sit down, my love. Oh, it's a bit dark. Yeah, isn't well, it? It's not the brightest August day, is it? I can't believe we're doing this again. Round two. Hello, beautiful girl. Oh, oh no. Memory card. Memory card. She's a smiley girl. Okay, hello angels. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then my name is Imogen. My name is Fentasar. And we are gonna tell you this baby girl's... Oh shh, I just get the, just get the tripod out of excitement. We are gonna tell you this beautiful girl's name today. I'm so excited. So I gave birth and we're filming this a week ago, but I don't know when this is going up, but her birthday is on the 11th of August. Yes. I gave birth at 12.44. Yeah. Um, we will be doing a birth story, so that is definitely coming. That's one worth listening to. That is one worth listening to, but this is a beautiful girl. Hey, She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's so special. Smells so nice. She said, just turn around this way because she's looking at her daddy. Hello. <laughs> I feel like I've birthed the same human twice. I feel like she looks so much like Renee. Who are you looking at? Who are you looking at, my baby? She's amazing. She's amazing. I just feel, oh, honestly, how do you Change feel? so much, like, you know, in a week, like, every yeah. day, they look different and, um, yeah, it's been amazing. It's been just so amazing to see her. And yeah. real, for me, obviously, like, the man doesn't really get that physical connection mm. until they're born. So, obviously, you feel the bumps and the kicks. Mm. But and we nice. definitely felt the kicks because her little feet are so big. Mummy mm. used to feel those little feet all the time. I'll tell you her weight and everything in the birth story and all those other things. Sure. Um, I just wanted to go through her name with you guys today and so you could meet her. Because obviously, is that Robin? No, it's not. We've been offline for a little while. Yes. Um, I actually originally thought that I would be filming more close to the due date and stuff. But I just wanted to take some time off. I don't get maternity leave, obviously, because I'm self-employed. So I just thought, you know, come back. I'm hoping to come back regularly, probably once a week at the moment. I'll probably upload once a week. Yeah. Um, Tuesdays so or Saturdays. No pressures on yourself. No, because um, I normally upload Tuesdays and Saturdays. But if you have um, the bell notification, or even if you're just subscribed, I'd be so grateful because then I can share this journey because we've been documenting, obviously, when my family met her. Yeah. We didn't document your family because they don't like being on camera. Yeah. But that was magical. We've been documenting when Renalia met her. Are you saying hello to everyone? Beautiful girl. I don't know whether she's got blue eyes or brown eyes. I think they look brown. Yeah. Who do you they think? They will develop right now. I reckon everyone's going to tell us she's literally Renalia's twin. Which means she's Spencer's twin. You look like my, my dad. She looks like Grandad and Spencer. Should we tell them a name then? Yes, let's tell them the name. But first, Your name. do you want to have a little cuddle with her? I think she's going to want some milk soon, but this is beautiful girl. I don't want to kiss you because I've got makeup on. Don't, please don't be deceived by the fact I'm wearing makeup a week postpartum. This is genuinely not the case normally. I haven't actually, even before I gave birth, I wasn't wearing any makeup was I spent. I was in my sweats constantly. Um, but I wanted to wear makeup to get back onto YouTube today. Plus, Renalia is at nursery, so I've actually had a little bit more time. Yeah. The whole documentation of like my feelings, my hormones, everything, I've literally done the first week of having her. We've been vlogging, so I will be sharing that because mm. I feel like there's a lot to unpack. Yeah, definitely. Having two, there's a lot to unpack. There's a lot of different emotions. She's getting hungry. She wants a mommy's milk. I've done all the breastfeeding journey and all those things. So let's introduce the baby girl. Yes. So, we made up a name again. Yeah, we made up a name. We had to, to follow on from Renania. Yeah. We felt like we yeah. owed it to this little girl yeah. to have her own unique name as yes. well. So, so we got our thinking hats on. Yeah. We sort of had like a base name. The beginning of her name. Meaning, yeah. Fair. Yes. And the beginning of her name was always fixed. Yeah. It was the ending, what we were going to go with. Um, so basically, you guys will know, I lost my uncle five days before I found out I was pregnant with this beautiful, sweet cherub. Um, my Uncle Ray was basically my granddad. He was a massive, massive part of my life. He was, it was not, if it wasn't my mum and dad, it was Ray. He was second in command. He was everything. He had the brightest, whitest hair. Yeah. He went grey and white from a very young age. Mm -hmm. And you just always knew, it, that's what we always associated him with, you know, a cup yeah. of tea on his big beer belly yeah. and this bright white hair. I had quite a close bond with him in such a short yes. amount of time that I knew him. Yeah. Uh, we sort of bonded over football and yeah. 
you know, it just felt him easy Spencer to talk Spencer would go to. and see him at the hospital sometimes when I couldn't get there. Um, when Renalia, when we got back here, I couldn't remember why I couldn't get there, but you'd go and cut his hair, yeah, you, things like that. Yeah, I was like cutting that. his hair and like, yeah. We were actually the last people and my dad to see him before yeah. he passed with his, with his partner. Right, bear with me one second because I'm going to latch her. Okay, so she's a fiend, just like her sister, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. She loves the milk. The milk's good. Um, so yes, Spence was. Re it was really nice actually that you got to spend some time with him closer, yeah. closer towards the end. Um, but so we felt like we wanted to incorporate him yeah. into the name. So obviously, yeah. um, my granddad's incorporated into Renalia's name. Mm -hmm. So I guess people that are special to us, we try and incorporate mm -hmm. that are no longer here with us. We try and incorporate them into their name, yeah. so their memory lives on. Yes, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And. It was just so magical because one of the last times I saw Ray, yeah. he was telling me he had all these premonitions of things that were coming true about England playing the football and winning yeah, yeah. certain things. Mm -hmm. And he just put, and he said about how he thinks my family's going to expand. And he said lots of other things. And I was like, I said, Ray, what do you see for me in my future? He's like, more babies, more happiness, more love, more light. Yeah. And I was like, wow like yeah and i was pregnant then mm -hmm. and we didn't know yes um and i i got to tell him at the funeral i went and spoke to him in the cast yeah. casket what is it called in well in, in the coffin yeah in the coffin yeah is it a casket no that's so wrong with me no i think it's something i think it's... people can have an open casket or something yeah. i don't know yeah but i went and told him and none of my family knew at that point but i was like i went up and spoke with him with my older brother and my little brother and then i waited for them to go and i then spoke to him mm. um but since he passed, he loved birds. He absolutely loved birds, would bird watch all day if he could. Yeah. So I just thought he was coming back as some kind of bird. I just thought that. But from the minute he passed, all I kept seeing, I'd be on the phone to his partner, I'd be telling you, yeah. I would see these white feathers. They would pass me, they would float by, they would sit there, they would be everywhere. And I was like, I think Ray's come back as this beautiful white bird because of his hair. I just felt like this white light being yeah. was present in our life. Yeah, and yeah. me and Spencer were racking our brains with how to get incorporate maybe a feather, incorporate maybe the idea of something being white. And then Spencer actually found it. Did you find it? I can't remember, to be honest. Maybe I found it, but you found a mean. You found a meanie. Spencer yeah. found a name that meant my light. Yeah. And I was like, Spence, that's it. Like, yeah. this baby has been a light in such a dark time. Mm -hmm. This baby falling pregnant has given me something to be thankful for, for grateful for. And I felt like it was Ray coming back into oh, yeah. our I life. I do remember sort of um, coming across it. Now. You did. Yeah. And you were like, why don't we come up with something with my light? Like, mm. what? And then I found the name Ori. Mm. So O R I. So um, it means my light. And for me, that meant my light as in this baby is a light in our life. Yeah. But for, also for in me, dark time. yeah. But also, I felt like it was Ray, this white feather, this white being, a light coming back. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like it worked. And I also love the fact that Ren and Ori can be yeah very like little three letter names, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then yeah we, we found so we Renalia's second part of her name Alia is uh, it means golden, mm -hmm. and so we were kind of we were finding bits of. Um, I'm not going to say her name, but the second part of her name, we were struggling to tie to the first part, to, to Ori. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of needed a letter mm -hmm. that could tie the two parts mm -hmm. of her name together. So Aurea means golden, so then there was a tie between Renalia and Aurea. I'm going to say the second yeah. part of her name. <laughs> yeah. So they've both got golden in their name. So Yeah, so they're just going to be bonded for life. Yeah, like, they're obviously, they're bonded by blood, but mm. there was something so special about the fact that both of their names, part of it means golden, are mm. golden girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how magical. Um, it was just so special when we found that. We were like, wow. And then really randomly, you can tell a bit of the story if you want. Go, go, go. Well, me and Mills, <laughs> we, we rarely get any time together mm -hmm. on our own, but... Mm -hmm. Um, one particular morning we went for a walk on the seafront mm -hmm. and we saw this lady and she was walking a white boxer. Now I grew up with boxers in my family and I've never really seen, I've seen, they, there's reds and there's brindles for those that know uh, what boxers are, dogs by the way. And there was this white boxer and I've never seen like a white boxer. So again, the white, the whiteness of the boxer was still, yeah. that's crazy as well, isn't it? And really? we were pregnant at that point. Yeah. But again, did our families know? Um, oh, I don't know. I couldn't remember, but the lady told us that the date, the birthday of the dog yeah. was 
February the 14th. Which is our anniversary. Yeah. But also, it was the day we were announcing to everyone that we were having another baby. Yeah. So, it was just so... I think she was 14 weeks at that point as well. She would have been 14 yes, weeks at that point. Like so, it's all like all aligning. Yeah. And then the dog's name was Belle. Yeah. And we really liked Ori Belle, Ori Belle. We really liked that. Mm -hmm. um, but we wanted to incorporate it. We wanted to incorporate the meaning of the name. Yeah. It just felt special to us. We were down at the seafront. It wasn't the nicest of days. No. The white waves were coming. Me and Spencer had this time where we were just like reflecting. Yeah. And it was like... It was like it all aligned. The lady had four children. The lady was so amazing. Yes. She was so friendly. We were like, um, we're actually announcing we're having another baby. We just told her. Our families must have known. Yeah. And um, we were like, we're having another... Yeah, they must have known. We were not going to tell some random lady. Um, and we were like, um, we're having another baby. It's a girl. And we're announcing the 14th of Feb. I think it was really close to the 14th of Feb. Yeah. And it might have actually been the 11th of Feb. We'll have to find out. Mm -hmm. And the lady was like, wow, um, Belle is six on the 14th of Feb. And we were like, oh my goodness, Belle. Yeah. And we just were like, this is amazing. So then we found the name. Vella. Vella, which means beauty. Beauty. So this beautiful, oh, I'm going to cry. It's so magical. Her name is Aurea Vella. Yeah. So Aurea Vella, can we shorten to Ori, Aurea? And it means my light golden beauty. I love her name. I love her name Aurea so Bella. much. I love it so much. Renalia and Oriavella. And we just, we we found the name when we were like 20 weeks we, pregnant. Yeah, we've known her name for a long time. Yeah. Like around certain people, we've been like, right, we should have to talk about something different. I because know. We've been so close to coming off the tongue. Mm -hmm. But um, obviously you can see the colour that she's wearing today. So does she have a middle name? She yes. does have a middle name. And the middle name, I'll tell you a bit of backstory. My yeah. nan wears this colour all the time. You mm -hmm. probably guessed it already. But, mm -hmm. And um, it was your favourite colour growing up. Mm -hmm. You wanted to have your bedroom that colour. So, Aurea Vella's middle name is Lilac. Spencer wanted to incorporate Joy, his yeah. nanny Joy. And we wanted to find a way of incorporating her. But we thought Joy, we didn't know whether it would work. And then Joy's actual first name her real first name is Phoebe, Phoebe yeah. and we loved Phoebe because it actually mean it can mean bird mm. but it also can mean something else yeah. and we were like wow Phoebe's amazing but yeah. I'd known a couple of Phoebes when I was growing up and I was like oh I don't think I want that in the middle name yeah so then we went round to Spencer's nans this is when we stayed down there and you were looking after her mm -hmm. we went out for his dad's 60th yeah and she was dressed head to toe in lilac that yeah. day and then the next day head to toe in lilac bending over at her age of 92 four 94 yeah. 94 she's bending over doing her doing her makeup lilac mm. lilac everything so we said nanny joy what's your favorite color and she said well lilac i suppose and yeah. we said wow okay and yeah. we just knew from then we wanted to incorporate lilac some way yeah, yeah. um that's why the baby shower was covered in lilac butterflies and we keep seeing lilac butterflies yeah. on our on our like hill walks yeah. and stuff like that so when we were trying to get the girl out yeah we just, just kept seeing lilac butterflies everywhere didn't we i think if you just like you know decide on something in your life like say you're going to buy a mini car mm. You'll then see loads minis, of minis. Yeah. Like it's, it's just. It's I've never seen a lilac butterfly though before. We decided. Yeah. We were going with this name. I know. And it was like it was meant to be everywhere. Yeah. When we were doing walks, we were literally like, "There's a lilac butterfly." There's, yeah. and it just felt. I, I honestly have loved the, the color lilac. It's been my favorite color my whole life. Mm -hmm. I remember my parents would always flip houses. And you okay, sweetheart? I remember my parents always flipped houses, so we always had to have white walls. And not always flip houses, but you know, it was they quite. They flipped houses. Yeah. yeah. Um and. I always said to say to my dad and mum, like, please can I have a lilac bedroom? I got the palest lilac you could ever imagine, which basically looked white, but it was a lilac. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it was just, I just feel like it's a beautiful name. So it's Oriavella Lilac Horton. I love it so much. I nice love name. it. We did look it up and check if it was an actual name. Yeah. It's not. I think there's one lady that goes under it from Venezuela, South America, yeah, yeah, as her last name, yeah. but it's spelt completely differently in that um, country of origin. But yeah, it's not actually a registered name. In the UK, um, yeah. So, so Bella yes. Lila Horton. So we can be like at the park, Renalia, Oriavella. Mm, <laughs> mm, no, it's such a nice. Name. You're beautiful and perfect. And she suits it. And she suits it. She does suit it. Oh, we coming off. I love how the health visitor said, uh, the midwife said to me, like, pick her arm up to see if she's done feeding and it'll just flop down. It's so rigid, her arm. <laughs> she's like, get me some more, mum. Get some more, you're coming off. No, so we some more. hope you like her name. I yes. I hope you like the meaning behind yes. it. Yes. And also, if there are people out there that don't like it, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. You're entitled to your opinion. It's a baby. She's innocent. We've chosen her name. 
that's what we like, that's our family, that's that's it. One thing I like about unique names, yeah. like we're all different people on this Everyone. planet. Yeah. And I feel like it kind of should so have lots your of own people, name. Imogen will be a, a, a unique name or uh, some, some people, Billy might be a yeah. unique name. So I just think names are perfect for you and your family yeah. and this is what we've called our daughter. I, you know, it's our baby at the end yeah. of the day. I, don't, I wouldn't judge anyone for their and names. No, and their the thing is, no one would, would have the same meaning because no. that, that story behind her yeah. name is all of, to do with mm -hmm. our journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Aww. Well done, my love. Love you, sweetness. I love you. But anyway, guys, I really hope you want to stay in in shoot, in shoot. Mm -hmm. I really hope you want to stay with us on this journey of parenthood with two babies under 23 months. Um, Are we mad? Yes, only by a couple of days. Only by they're only under twenty three months by eight days. Eight oh. days. Oh, twenty yeah, <laughs> months, under two years. What about five weeks? And yeah, five yeah. weeks. Yeah. But now we better start planning Renalia's second birthday. But I really can't wait to take you on this journey of just the ups and downs, the highs and the lows. Yeah. And I don't want anyone to think I'm moaning ever. Time. I want to just be honest with yeah, this journey. Exactly. Right. Like if I have a low moment or if my hormones are all over the shop mm -hmm. or if I'm struggling with two babies or if I'm finding it magical. Yeah. I want to document the whole thing so I want to share my reality, which well, might you've, be... Well, you've always been real, haven't yeah. you? So that's sort of like, yeah. you know, what, what you see is what you get. Yeah, which it's... I'm hoping will be relatable to some people. Some yeah. people have different journeys with their babies, but sure. I just want to... We're we'll in a bubble at the journey. moment. Yeah. We're in a beautiful, beautiful bubble. Very happy. Yeah. Well, I, I love mean, you guys. Amazing. And until next time, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. And the birth story and all the other bits will be coming soon. Stay tuned. Yeah. Like, subscribe, hit the banner. Oh.